Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to link to a story about a religious school for girls. And in this school, the girls walk to class every day, and over the last few months, they've been experiencing verbal and physical abuse at the hands of some ultra-conservative religious males. It seems that these males are unhappy that these students are dressing in what they perceive as an immodest manner. Now these students are wearing full-length skirts and blouses that have full-length sleeves. They are not in any way, shape, or form dressed in an immodest manner. Yet, these girls are being yelled at on a daily basis, being called vile and offensive terms, sluts, things like that, and being spit upon. Uh, and when people have protested these the actions of these men, these men have done the same to them and thrown rocks at them. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this, but in the civilized world, spitting on people and throwing rocks is considered assault. Um, and the fact that these men have not been arrested is, to my mind, somewhat telling. Now, I have a question for my viewers today. Which religion do these people belong to? You can go read the article and find out. Um, but my point is, is that organized religion is the problem here, folks, not faith itself individuals practicing their faith alone are not the problem. But when people start getting into groups and they start wearing armbands and breaking themselves out down into the groups like us and them, then there's a problem. George Carlin once said that people are okay in twos and threes, but after that they start wearing armbands and becoming assholes. You know, apologize. I apologize for the foul language. But that's the truth. We really like to divide ourselves into tribes, and when you divide yourself along religious tribes, it seems to bring out the worst in us. So I have of the opinion that we shouldn't have religious tribes at all. I know I'm radical like that. But one of the parts about this story that disturbed me the most is that one of the girls that's being verbally and physically assaulted here is eight years old. So these conservative men are saying that an eight-year-old is somehow dress in an immodest manner and is somehow provoking their actions. Now, this is an incredibly passive-aggressive view of the world. This says that if someone else does something I don't like, I have no control over my own actions. That this other person just elicited this from me. I was helpless in its face. That, that if someone dresses in a provocative manner, it justifies anything I do in response. And then it's a sick, twisted, unethical, and immoral worldview, and it should be condemned by all civilized people. It doesn't matter how someone else is dressed, how someone else dresses. Nothing. Nothing they do or say that isn't a direct assault on you, a direct threat to your safety, should elicit any reaction from you. You can just walk away. You don't have to engage them. <clears throat> if a woman walks down the street or a man walks down the street naked, you don't have to react to that. If it's against the law where you live, you can call the authorities. But it isn't your duty to respond. And to think that someone else, how someone else dresses will elicit a reaction from you which you have no control over is also rather sick and twisted. So I ask, can you guess, before reading the article, which faith these gentlemen belong to? Though I freely admit that I am stretching the word, the definition of the word gentleman, to its breaking point. 